Now, a few minutes ago, you did hear Bob Siegel reporting on the Noblesville shooting. Our senior investigative reporter has had a busy day. He's also been following major developments in another school district, and he joins us now with the results of a long investigation into allegations of misconduct in Center Grove. Center Grove head football coach Eric Moore was accused of abusing his position by bullying, harassing, and intimidating students. The school district launched a formal investigation three months ago. Tonight, Center Grove released the results. Thirteen Investigates has learned the outside independent investigator who looked into concerns about Coach Moore interviewed 42 people. She substantiated allegations that the coach used inappropriate language and that he intimidated and embarrassed students. The investigator also found reports that the coach engaged in aggressive physical contact with students were credible but did not rise to the level of actual abuse. Other allegations against Moore were not substantiated. Through the investigation, Center Grove School said it identified a larger systemic issue within the culture of our extracurricular activities. And as a result, the district will outline expectations for coaches in a handbook. Center Grove will also draft guidelines for students to help them understand how they should be treated and what resources are available to them. The big question, of course, what, if anything, will happen to Coach Moore for his behavior? The school district won't say, except for pointing out he is not being demoted, suspended without pay, or terminated. It's worth noting the questionable behaviors that Moore engaged in, those that were substantiated by the school investigation, are prohibited by the school district's own bullying policy. We've asked the school district for more information, but so far we've not received any response. We've posted Center Grove's complete statement on the investigation. The statement does say that Center Grove supports Coach Moore. You can see this whole statement right now at WTHR.com.